So then lastly, we ask, what is hell? Uh, if heaven is the beatific vision to see God forever, if purgatory is a final stage of purification for that, then what is hell? The Catechism says that hell is definitive self-exclusion from God. And so just like with heaven and purgatory, it isn't primarily defined in terms of being a place. So once again, in the past, Christian imagination has run a little wild maybe with hell, with sort of, again, Dante's Inferno, with, you know, devils with pitchforks and, and burning fire and these kinds of things. Uh, but that's not what the church defines hell as, as, as a particular place, but as a particular state, a state of not loving God. Suffice it to say it's a place no one would want to go to if they had any real glimpse of, of what happens there. And uh, because we don't talk about it very often, people don't fear it sufficiently and, uh, and don't take the measures necessary to avoid it. The reality of hell is a great mystery. We struggle to comprehend what this can be like, but we also express that struggle in, in artwork, for example, if we see paintings depicting the suffering in hell. We find in literature, descriptions, through these depictions of great physical discomfort, we're trying to wrap our minds around a still more profound suffering. The principal horror of hell is the deprivation of the presence of God. In God's absence, there is no good no pleasure, no joy, no hope. They live in a complete vacuum, uh, which is empty of everything but their own sinfulness, their own hatred. It is eternal. Our Lord makes that very clear. He speaks of, of um, eternal punishment, everlasting fire. Uh, the New Testament is very clear. That's, that's a dogma of faith revealed by our Lord himself that hell is eternal, so there, there is no end to the punishments of hell. And so although we don't like to think about hell, it can be beneficial to reflect on the terrible reality. And we find this in the church's spiritual tradition, the benefits of reflecting on what it's like, or what it might be like to live in the absence of God. And from that reflection, and from thinking about hell, to run again into God's arms so that we can never be absent from him with that finality that we find in hell.